Oh my God. This is unbelievable. That's a world's first. <laughs> Hello everyone, today is going to be epic because I've been reunited with my favourite bike. This is the Ghost Slammer. It's kind of set up like a bit of a big slope style bike at the moment, which is going to be super fun. And we've parked up directly on what I think is going to be a perfect landing there. There's a few like thorns and things we need to clean out. So we're going to clean that away, then we're going to set up a hopper there and we can ride down this road and get a bit of speed and go like into that. So let's clear this away and make a perfect landing in the best location ever, right next to the road. Move all this. See that, that zone there is literally cooling out to be landed on. Yeah, that's gonna be so good there. Wow, that tool's good. Chop a few these thorns away. Landing done. Let's build the hopper ramp there and send. Come on. Here we go. I've got the hopper ramp. We're going to magic that up as the kicker. So let's get it. Here we go. Whoa. Look at this. Oh my God. I haven't used this ramp for a while now. This is sick. This is my newest one. And that's going to be turned there perfect jump into that's going to be so good with the truck moved and the ramp set up in place we've now got a perfect land in there so let's get ready for a shreddy and i've also got some fresh pill grip longs on look at these beasts come on let's give it a hit first hit then on this beast oh that's sick that's actually such a good setup my bike's still soft though from from when I last rode it abroad, which has been ages ago. I've got a shock pump in my toolbox. Pump up the jam, pump it up. Quick 300 PSI and we're back in business. Let's go straight in then with a bit of steeze on this setup. Oh. Wow, Lou, I was well close to you then. Let's get the long lens on and do like a looking up the hill one. I think it could look well cool. That feels well good, but it's only so long I can do no spins for. So I want to see if I can 270 that now. Quite nervous I haven't spun that bike for a bit. So what we're going to do is a 90 first and land fakie out. And then hopefully we can get a nice 270 into that. It's kind of like a bit of a pocket air vibe. Absolutely loving that setup. Let's give it a go. Oh, that's quite gnarly. I, my front wheel landed this side of the big stump there, didn't it? I kind of want to land just in there a bit. Ah, that was so cool. I just got past where I wanted. Let me get it clean. Take that. New one. <laughs> that was sick. The run out wasn't how I wanted it to look though. So what I'm going to do instead is a 180 tuck no hander onto the bank and that might make the exit better. Let's try that. Oh no. Oh, that was a nice run out though. Oh, yo. I'm well pumped on that. Now it's time for the two sevs. This little finale from this super sick bonus spot we just thought about this morning. Loving it. Oh. <laughs> I got really low. Is that going to blow up? No. Conti's hanging on strong there. Well, you don't need to turn at all. I've got to do such a slow rotation for that. Back! No. <laughs> Look at that. I've got such low pressures compared to normal. Louis must have been on this thing. Louis. Here we go. Oh, yes. That felt so pocket airy. Pocary. Pocarious. Right. We're pumped. That's such a good little spot. Nice start to the day. Let's go and shred this beast of a bike some more somewhere else. 
just turned up another little spot. I've got the smaller backpack hopper here. Just put the leg on. And we're going to hop up this little blue crate pile. I'm now working for home base by fixing their stuff for them. Look. Oh. <laughs> Quite a drop up there. There's actually a few gaps there. Maybe we can go up to Manny, but there is like fully gaps in between. Oh no. Oh. Woo. That was well scary actually. The drop off is quite big. So I had to do a little pedal hop off out. As you might notice, different shirt, because this is a different day because uh, yesterday I tried out my foil board for the first time, which you'll see later in the video, but let's go and find another spot to hit. So I mentioned earlier in the video that I bought some new stuff. Well, I like to try different sports, so I've decided to get into wing foiling, which is basically a surfboard with a foil underneath, and then it floats on the water, and you use this huge wing here to give you the power from the wind. But as we're doing a bike video, and I'm excited, I've decided I'm going to blow up this wing, which I haven't used yet in the water, and attach it to my back with a backpack, and then hit that kicker there, in the hope that I can fly in some sort of way. So we need to pump this thing up, and maybe it'll work. I did actually try this earlier with my mountain board for the first time to try and get a bit used to how winging works. Yes! Look at this thing. Whew. Could actually be one of the worst ideas. I'm going to tie that to here then. And then that's going to go around this bit of the bag. Could be ridiculous, really. So we've got that there. Then what I'm going to make is my own harness. So that's going to go like that. Put the camera down for a sec and then we can come back when it's all set up. Right, we've got first prototype of the wing biking movement. I'm just going to roll down this small bit of hill. Let me just take this up the hill a bit actually. Full speed, full commitment. Oh. Oh. It's working. Wow. Let's set the kicker up then. That's insane. Before we set the kicker up, I just want to move this orange piece forward because this handle's where you'd hold if you actually did it in the water. So we'll try, we'll do one more. Nah, we'll just send it actually. All these test runs, what's the point? I bet the Wright brothers didn't do test runs, did they? Right, I'm just going to run with it a second. Run with it, lean with it, rock with it, just to see. Yeah, look, I'm actually taking off. Whoa, that's it. That is it, guys. You've got yourselves a world's first. You've got to set that ramp up because this is, I can't, I don't want to unstrap. Put it into that landing. Yeah. A few seconds later, Louis has set that, set it, set that right up. Perfect. Let's hit it then. Here we go then. Let's get some speed up. I'm flying. Oh, it worked. It literally grabbed on. Oh my God. This is unbelievable. That's a world's first. Wing biking. Let's have an action reaps in slow mo. That's 
unreal. Like it's a small jump, but when you start falling, like I can feel it actually picking up on this bottom harness I made, which is so sketchy. So I think with a real setup, you might actually be able to go massive with it. And I think you need to be jumping into the wind. So that's definitely something on the cards for the future because, oh my God, that's unreal. But I need to work out the positioning of this, get a proper one of these. So it's actually hovering, it needs to hover about here, not back there. And that way you'll actually be able to know what's happening when you take off. Unreal, that's so cool. As you saw earlier on that quick little clip, the mountain board didn't work and I really wanted to bring you along on my little sort of learning experience for wing foiling. So what we're gonna do now is go to a car park with the skateboard and that way we can harness the wind's power to bomb around the skate park and sort of learn a bit how this works. Obviously I got a bit carried away with the bike but who wouldn't? Let's go and see how it works with the skateboard. We've just been driving around for a little bit looking for wind. The fact there wasn't wind over there means that there obviously wasn't going to be wind here, but we did try. We've come up as high as we could, and uh, it's unfortunately not going to work on the skateboard. But I'm going to do a quick slasher turn just for fun. Dude! What we did yesterday was take out the foil board behind the jet ski. Louis was uh, kind enough to pull me along so I could feel it out. And uh, that's my first step towards becoming a wing foiler. So have a little look at that. Big switch up, we're now at my favourite water sports zone. This is Mersey Island, and I've got a new toy. Look at this huge beastie. This is a wing foil board, and we're about to do its first outing. I've got the jet ski over there. Louis going to be on the jet ski there, yep. doing some driving, and we're going to try it out. So we want to get, we want to get some lift using the tow rope on the ski just to see how it feels and then if i feel good we might blow up the wing and give that a go so let's get out into the sea and see what happens here we go we're in the water louis on the ski yep. let's try it then yeah. Whoa. Whoa. No. So that was the start of my wing foiling journey. I'm gonna be showing you a few more bits of that throughout my YouTubing career, along with the surfing and all the other random bits that I like to film. Unfortunately, we couldn't do the skateboard winging, but I'm sure that'll be fun in the future. As a little bonus, let's listen to some V8, shall we? Oh, it always makes me so pumped. So on that bombshell of absolute excitement, fun, new sports, world's firsts, and hopper ramps, that is the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. That'd be awesome if you leave some comments and be sick of you subscribe. See you in the next one. <laughs>